Hi, I'm here to interview Connie Roberts, who's better known as Connie Foggles on the internet. And my first question for her is, how did you get started blogging? Well, first of all, thank you for interviewing me. Um, I got started blogging um, probably about actual blogging um, back in April of 2007, real blogging. But I was actually blogging um, on a site that was called Yahoo 360. And um, I had some health issues and um, I wasn't able to really do much. So I started writing on that Yahoo 360 site to kind of get out of my shell because I was stuck at home. <laughs> and I. Uh, enjoyed it you know it was like nice to have feedback and then I ended up kind of supporting people who were in the same position as me um, it was like you know knowing that I was still able to do something even though I felt like I wasn't um, when I heard that I couldn't work anymore you know I went into like a really deep depression so knowing that I was able to do something like just brought me kind of you know got me out of it so that was the start of my unblogging career my real blogging career in April of 2007 um, came about because I met someone at a uh, what is it called a uh, Playgroup, yeah, at a playgroup, and she was blogging and making a lot of money doing it. And she started, you know, she said she would help me, and she got my blog started. And I learned a lot from her, but I kind of went my own route after that. Um, I did begin really just to make money because, like I said, I wasn't able to work out of the house. So, um, and then I really found that there was more to blogging. Um, there was the community, there was friends that I made online. I mean, real, true friends. And I was able to share a message um, about people who have health problems, people with disabilities, and get feedback. <laughs> and not only that, but really, I, you know, I got message, I got emails from people, I would get comments from people that, you know, how did you do this? And I remember one of the things that I did was um, to work um, with the Invisible Disabilities uh, um, Association, I think that's what it is, but it's something with Invisible Disabilities. And I helped, I did a kind of like a podcast about um, how to blog. I just taught people. And I took people under my wing in a way. I mean, even though it wasn't like this big blogger, it was just nice for me to share what I was able to do. And that kept me going. So, so tell us a little bit about what you're doing now with your blog and how you hope to continue what you what your plans are for your blogs I really enjoy what I'm doing now I, I was doing a lot of product reviews and I'm starting to pull away from that now and really trying to focus more on blogging about my own life blogging about um, causes that are really important to me especially um, education for children, children's issues, health issues, women's issues, and I'm using that my blog more as a platform now. I see it as a way to share information, to get dialogue going, and um, to, to be, like, not really a spokesperson, but to be someone that's able to share information and to show people that there's different sides to stories because you know I hate when people just see one side. I'm also um, trying to do more with traveling and um, as I said share about my personal life so I'm sharing about some things that are going on with my daughter right now. 
about special education needs and public education in, in general. And can you tell us about conferences that you've attended and what you've learned from them? Sure. Conferences, I'm addicted to them, and it's been really something that I always want to do. I want to attend every single one, which can be hard on the budget, <laughs> but I, I love going to conferences. First of all, because I get to meet the people that I've been meeting online. I get to meet them in real life. Also, because I get to learn um, from other people that I look up to, and the networking, you know, is just fantastic. It's such an opportunity. And just, you know, meeting bloggers from different, different areas, from uh, different, you know, that, that blog about different topics is just eye-opening to me. Um, I, just knowing that, you know, there are niches that are so, that things I've never thought of. And that really helps me a lot. Um, I've been, like I said about brain foggles, I've been trying to try to think about what, where I want to take it to the next level and to see the different niches. And also that there are bloggers that don't really have a specific niche. That's really helpful because I think, kind of think that that's where brain foggles is going to end up. It's going to be a pretty much non-specific niche. And that, you know, that really is helpful to know that there are other bloggers out there like that. Um, conferences, too, are, it's, it's just a lot of fun, really. Um, just hanging out with people and, you know, laughing and meeting up with them and getting time to sit around with those people that you've only met online and, you know, to say, okay, they've, they've been my friend, but now I get to see them and hug them and hang out with them. It, it's just a great feeling. Um, I love conferences that have different tracks and have uh, so that you can choose the different sessions you want to attend because I have so many varied interests. So, um, And the ones that also teach you about the business side of it, monetizing your blog really helps me too because I, I do try to earn some money from my blog. Well, I do try to earn a lot of money from my blog, I'm going to be honest. Who doesn't, you know? And so you've talked about your blog and tell us a little bit about yourself um how what how has your childhood um affected your blogging your writing and how has it affected the social causes that you've chosen um i did grow up in new york i grew up in the bronx and now i live in an area that's totally not the Bronx. <laughs> I grew up, I, I'm living in a small kind of town right now. I know it's not a town, but to me it is. It's uh, a mixture of people from New York. Um, it's in Florida, so there's a lot of people from New York. But um, going from that fast-paced life to the slower-paced life has uh, affected my writing uh, before it was as you know I when I said grew up in the Bronx I was there for 22 years so a big part of my life was spent there and I thought life was go 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 all the time so it has changed me so that I am slower paced in my own life and also because of my medical stuff it has slowed me down my writing has been affected because I really stop and see the bigger, broader pictures, and I don't really, I don't focus on just, you know, one idea and one thing and that's it. I'm not close-minded, that's for sure. That's one thing you will know about me, I am not close-minded. Um, the other thing is, uh, I did have issues growing up as a lot of teenagers with uh, female girls, uh, female, female teens and young girls have gone through with body image. And I had the opposite problem, I was very thin. And I brought a lot of that into my writing. I try my best to work with, um, with 
issues that have to deal with body image, with beauty, what is considered beauty. My daughter is not the typical girly girl, and I write a lot about that. that you know, there's no specific t type that you have to be when you're a girl because especially the tween years are really hard and even the teen years and I'm really working on showing that you know that you can be yourself the uniqueness has to be there and you can always show it not hide it um, not you know not bullying those kind of things has really been brought out in my writing and I see now that it's because of how I grew up. Well, Connie, um, how did you get the name Connie Foggles? Everybody calls you that, knows you by that. Where did that come from? Well, <laughs> it came from my blog, Brain Foggles, and my blog name, Brain Foggles, came from Brain Fog. Um, when I began, when I began, when I was diagnosed first with um, a chronic illness, and then I began being diagnosed with more, I do have a condition called brain fog. It means that I forget a lot. I do have trouble with my speech. Um, a lot of the ums come in because of that. It's not nerves. It's because I'm forgetting what I'm trying to say. Uh, I, I have forget names a lot. I forget words. I'll use the word doohickey or whatever or what's it called and all that. So I, I just thought of the name brain fog. It just came to me like in a dream kind of thing, you know. And everybody that I knew at the time thought it was hilarious. Um, it was, and of course it was mainly people that had chronic illnesses. So I hope that other people get it. I'm not sure if they do, but I hope they do. And with that came Connie Foggles because I was like, well, I want to relate myself to my blog. And actually I can say that that has been one of the best branding moves that I've made. I cannot tell you how many people think my real name is Connie Foggles and how many people I meet call me that. So I have to give myself two thumbs up for coming up with that and it was just like just a, a flashing thought that came across my head and I used it and it worked and I love it. I love the way that rhymes and it matches and it just works out perfectly. So I'm proud of that. Yeah, I am proud of it. <laughs> well, thank you very much for this interview. Um, we've learned a lot about you and it's been great. And everyone, this is Connie Roberts, also known as Connie Foggles. This is her entry for the Type A Celeb contest to win tickets, to win uh, business cards, and a custom shirt, and to have Katie Prescott as her personal assistant during Type A Parent Conference. Thank you!